hello again now uh, last class we just saw how to draw bending moment and shear force diagram uh, using you know the beam configuration now what will happen we can also have a certain kind of condition in which we may have to use cable for you know like supporting some kind of load for example you know many rope bridges contains rope and you will see that the loads on these cables are distributed so basically you know most of the loads on these cables can be characterized into first first one is concentrated loads and second one may be you know those boundary distributed loads either horizontally or along the length for example loading on cables first one is concentrated load in this case or upon by some of the concentrated loads here let us say this is for P1, P2, and P3. So, when you have such kind of condition, what is required is we should show the shape of the cable under the action of these forces. Requirement is find the Under the action of Oops. and second objective is to find tension in the okay. Now, if you so, this is what is over here in a concentration. So what, what do you mean by the shape of the cable? It means that you should be knowing the x1 and you know, y1 of each point under the action of these forces. y2 here it is have here currently we can have and here Means that if you know x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, p1, p2, p3, 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 able to draw the shape of this cable under the action. However, to solve this problem, we consider each and each section of this cable as two force member. It means that it will be acted upon by just tension or friction, mainly tension because it is a cable. Now. Let us try to find out you know, tensions and you know how to basically find out the tension in this case. Draw the free void diagram of this particular that at this point having this this A, this support at support A. For having reaction R A X and here we have Y and have these and here also we will be having now there are how many and again let me draw this forces are having four unknowns first of all unknowns are r a x 
So, particular. So, how to find out the equation of all these unknowns? But since we are having number of equilibrium equations, and solution of M on any of these points, let's say A, B, C, let's be correct. So, using these three equilibrium equations, you can't even solve some of the, all this problem, what one needs to do is, one has to take a section on this particular energy, okay, you know, take a section over there, and that you know for a given y i for a given y i y i Or rather, you can you know consider a point where this y i is applied. So in that case, what will happen? You know, you can draw a section of this. And yes, so here let us say it exists. So if you take a section about this particular point, you can either take it about this or about this. I, I, and obviously you can take uh, x position to show it. x i. So this particular point, which is given by x i and y i, let us say this known so you are having tension t over here in the cable take moment about this particular point is called in c so in that case the moment of t will be and the moment of P1, which is in anti clockwise direction, psi minus T. And similarly, you can write things about T. Thus, R, A, X, Y, I, and R, A, Y. R A Y produces clockwise one, so that side is going to be here. So it means that now we have four equations: one, two, three, four for known X I and Y I, and obviously X I. And this way we will be able to solve the problem of R A and Y I, R B Y, R B X. And after we know all these moments, you know one can also try to find out tension T. How? So let us say we know say if R A X R A Y R B X R B Y are known quantities are known then Again, you can take moment about, let us say, point R A, moment about A equals to 0, which 
you take moment about A, what will really happen? We will have will have let's say this one is your y i and what it is making as angle theta. So T cos theta theta times y i right then minus T sin theta x i and what about your V1? V1 will produce again V1 into V1 to 0. And therefore, your T will be given by one x one divided by cos yi times cos theta minus x i times sin this way you can find out your tension in the cable at any given point so this this is the process that we try to follow in computing the tension and finding out the like total reaction in the cable subjected to the concentrated flow now we will talk about the forces uh, in the cable when it is subjected to the uniformly distributed load. Under the uniformly distributed load conditions, there are two types of variation. First one is the distributed load may vary along x direction or it may also vary along the length. 